is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you play a song called Real Bruisers. And it starts off with this cool little power chord lick, or, or kind of mainly a bass lick, where you can play the open A twice, third on the low E, and then second on the low E, and then open D. So you're going A, A, G, F sharp, F sharp, B. And you can play those same notes if you wanted to. You could kind of go fifth on the low E, to eighth on the A, to seven on the A. by starting on an A5 power chord, doing kind of an open A with the second fret on the D string is kind of an A5. Or you could do that fifth fret on the low E7 on the A string to kind of work out as an A5. And then from the A, we'd be going to the G5. So you can kind of take that shape and go third fret on the low E, fifth fret on the A string, it's kind of a G5. Or randomly, if you're kind of following that, that top line, you could do this 10th fret on the A, 12th fret on the D for a G5 power chord. And then that next note, that F sharp note, you may want to back that up with, with kind of a D note on the A string. Randomly, you could do second on the low E, fifth fret on the A. That's something I call D3 slash F sharp. It's a D third, D F sharp. It's a one, two, three, third. Um, but you got F sharp in the bass, so I call that D3 slash F sharp. Or if you want to do that shape, you could do with that from the A string, ninth fret, twelfth fret on the D. Kind of that same shape, and then we end on a D5 power chord, which you could do open D and second on the G string, or you could do fifth fret on the A, third finger on the D, seventh fret. Kind of work that. So you may want to work is just kind of a big push, actually, kind of that A A G D3 slash F sharp or D3 slash F sharp D. You make that really big, or you could jump up to those higher notes. A A G D slash F sharp. And we could start on an A major chord by doing first finger on the D second, second finger on the G second, third finger on the B second. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A major chord and it sounds really, really happy. Um, now around the A in general, you may want to think about lifting off the third finger, maybe an A sus two, or adding the pinky on the B string third. You kind of say some stuff around the A. Or you may want to dig on an A seven sus by doing first finger on the D second. Second finger on the G second, third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third. It sounds slightly more unresolved, but you may kind of dig on that shape. Kind of dig this next G major. Um, so from the A, we'd be going to a G. And normally you do first finger on the A second, second finger on the low E third, third finger on the high E third. If you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord and it sounds really happy. Now you may also dig on putting third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third. Kind of working that for your G. And then from the G, we'd be going to a D major chord. Normally you do this first finger on the G second, second finger on the high E second, and third finger on the B string, third fret. And if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds a D major chord and it sounds really happy. Now around D's in general, you may want to think about lifting the second finger, making that a D sus two, or adding in the pinky on the high E third for a D suspending chord, and kind of saying some stuff around that chord. Or because that D is in, that F sharp is in the bass, you may want to take your thumb and you can kind of cover up the low E string on the second fret. And kind of work that as a D major slash F sharp or D with F sharp in the bass. Or you may dig on a D sus slash F sharp by doing first finger on the low E second, second finger on the G second, third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third. And kind of working that for your D. And through that part, you may just want to make it kind of a big punch the same way. Kind of A, A, G, D three, or D slash F sharp, and then the D chord straight up. F sharp for two, D for two. So A for two, G for two, D slash F sharp, D, A, G, D slash F sharp, D, kind of a two hit. I'm adding a little bit of right hand muting just to make that a little sneaky. You kind of dig on that. Or you could use a strum pattern. One of my favorite strum patterns for a 4 4 light this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we took the A and just tried that a lot. You kind of down, down. those 
those chords are going. So you may want to do just a down, down, and then do the D slash O sharp, which is the down, down, up. Or, and I know that might be a little weird. You might want to work just downs on each one. A, G, D slash F sharp, D. Or kind of an A, down, of G, down, of D slash F sharp, D. A, down, of G, down, of D slash F sharp, D. And the weird thing is that that down, down, up starts feeling like something called the 16th note strum pattern. And later on, Especially for the bridge, what we'll be digging on on this strum pattern. It's one of my favorite 16th note patterns. It's a down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down. And what I mean by that is if you're tapping your foot of the beat, right now we're dividing that beat into two parts. So we're trying to with that down, down, up, up, down. One, two, one, two. That's called an eighth note. What a 16th note is is where you divide that into four parts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And one of my favorite 16th note strum patterns is a long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. And we'll be using pieces of this through the tune. So if you take the A and just kind of try and do a big down on that for four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's what you'd be doing on the first beat. Then on the second beat, you do a down on one, down on three, up on four. So you're going one, two, three, four, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. Then on the third beat, you do a up on three, or up on two, down on three. So you're going one, two, three, four, one, up. Down up, down up, right along with the one, two, three, four. So, down, 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 down. so all together, and you kind of feel this in, in the bridge. We have kind of the down, 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 down. So when you're doing that down, down up on each of those chords, kind of A, G. Slash of short D. Start feeling that as a 16th idea. Not here. Now another way to kind of generalize it is just don't worry about the D slash F sharp. So you could even work it as an A, G, and then D with a down, down up, or the A down up, G down up, D with down, down, down up, like four, A, G, D, down, down up, A, down up, G, down up, D, down, down up. And from there we'll be going into our verse. And our verse is that same progression three times, but then we have this push on an E major chord. And normally you do this first finger on the G E first fret, second finger on the A second, third finger on the D second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like an E major chord and sounds really happy. Now you may also dig on playing just the E and the A strings of that and making it an E5 power chord, or you could put first finger on the A7, third finger on the D9, kind of working out for your E5. So you can even work it as the power chord idea to do. So kind of A, G, D, 3, slash, F, sharp, D, A, G, F, sharp, D, A, G, F, sharp, D, E, G, G. Kind of just work the, the power chords. Or you could kind of work the down, down, up, up, down, up, kind of an idea. Kind of A, G, D, down, down, up, A. starts with the A, and then we go to E, and it's almost kind of a four down count on each one. G, D, E, A, two, three, four, E, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, D, two, three, four. Or you may want to use the down, down, up on each chord. Kind of that part of the down, down, up, up, down, up. Or you could split that pattern too. You could do the A with the down, down, up, and then go to the E for the up, down, up. 
down it. And then D with the up down it. So you want to kind of experiment with that too. song notes and bass notes. And a lot of times on that first down of the down, down, up, up, down, up, or the down, 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 up, up, down, 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 or little pieces of, um, you can throw in a bass note for the chord. So on the A, you'd have the A for the bass. On the G, you'd have low E for the bass. On the D slash F sharp, you'd have low E for the bass. On the D, you'd have the D for the bass. And on the E major, you'd have the low E for the bass. You can try that, that next, that intro part is kind of a bass down, and, and this is weird, wait, 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 wait. you may want to try and kind of follow that, just that bass note if you're kind of attracted to the bass notes, or if you're working the 16th, you can kind of sneak it in by doing kind of a bass, down, up, bass, down, up, bass, down, up, bass, down, up, through that part. So that might be kind of a cool way to work it too. To and then from there, then we'll be going into our verse. So we try that idea through the verse, and you, if you're doing the A, G, D, and just leaving the D slash F sharp out, you could work that as kind of a bass, bass, and then go to your D for a down, down, up, bass, bass, D, bass, down, up, or E, A, G, D slash F sharp, and then you can kind of save it down up for the D, and you can kind of play around with that. Or if you're working that with the 16th pattern, you have the A, G, D. with a D for four, we got one, two, three, four, but then we go to E minor. So the E gets set, uh, um, so, so you put the first finger on the A second, second finger on the D second. If you strum all those together, that sounds an E minor chord, it sounds sad. Now you could put third finger on the B third, pinky on the high third, make that an E minor seven. We kind of do another four count there, and then we do another six count. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then we go to an A. So this is a little weird timing wise. You got D, two, three, four, E minor, one, two, three, four, E minor, one, two, three, four, five, six, A, D for four, E minor for four, E minor for six, A for two. Or if you're doing the down, down, up, up, down, up, you may want to do the D and the E minor with the bass down, up. Kind of, kind of doing half the pattern. And then we get the E minor, A, you may want to work that as a bass, down, up, up. Save that last down up for the last A chord. So you have a D, D minor, D minor, down up, A, D, D minor, D minor bass, down up, up, A, D, D minor, D minor, A, D, D minor. You may kind of dig on that idea. Or if you dig on the 16th pattern for that E minor A, you may want 
want to do the bass down, down, up, up, down, and then save that last down, up, down, up for the A chord is kind of a push. So D, D minor, A, B, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, A, down, up, down, up, B, There, there we go, back into a little piece for our intro. So you can even bring back that. Kind of bring back that intro lick. Or you can work any of those ways we've been talking about, actually. It could be cool to kind of mix it up to the down idea. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Try and split it, that would be bizarre. But maybe even just down ups, y'all. So yeah. uh, down up, down up, down up, down up. There's lots of ways to do this, y'all. A, G, B slash F sharp, B, A, G, B slash F sharp, B. We, we do that four times. And then right after that, then we go into our last chord. Kind of a double chorus, so it's twice as long as the other choruses. Um, but you could really word that any of those ways we've been talking about. A, G, D, A, E, or the other looks around those chords too. You know, feel free to throw them in. Take this lesson, run with it any way you want to. Sometimes we go back to our intro. Yeah, I think I wanted to end on a big A for myself. But that's the basics of how you can strum through Brill Bruiser. So, good luck!